But the Ghana Immigration Service says it is developing a policy document to ensure the Ghana is not hit by terrorists. Implementation of this plan will be thorough screening of foreigners at Ghana's borders and regular patrols at unapproved, unapproved entry point. This comes in the wake of series of terrorist attacks in neighboring Burkina Faso that has left many dead. Controller General of the Ghana Immigration Service, Kwame Sue Techi, has been sharing details of Ghana's strategy at a special meeting of immigration officers. Immigration policy worldwide is increasingly being used as a tool to advance economic development and plays a key role in national security. Immigration controls are primarily security operations aimed at regulating the movement of people in and out of the country. Presently, the objective is to secure the country against threats in whatever form, either physical, health-related, environmental, social, or economic. It is important that we screen travelers thoroughly to establish the bona fide of whoever seeks entry into this country. Proper screening seeks to identify, assess the personality, the purpose of travel, possible criminal records, or criminal links, and means of support, among others. Honorable Minister, Council Chair, Deputy Controller Generals, members of management, regional commanders, ladies and gentlemen from, from the media, it is important to say that perpetrators of these crimes may in most cases try to avoid contact with the law enforcement agencies and may use unapproved routes into their country. I will encourage you to intensify patrols along the unapproved routes. Commanders, let me implore you to come out with new ideas, contributions, and suggestions for the success of this meeting. Controller General of the Immigration Service there, Interior Minister Ambrose Derry, says government is committed to providing the resources to make the Immigration Service effective. We shall therefore nurture a strategy to work with our neighbors especially and also our border agencies to share information on travelers and suspects. At the last passing out in Asimfusu, the controller or the head of immigration of Nigeria was here to meet the leadership of the Ghana Immigration Services. And we expect such collaboration to pervade the whole subregion. So we are talking of sharing information first intra, that is the police, the immigration. And so far, I can tell you that they are acting very well. We've got people who have come from Burkina Faso, first into the upper eastern part. Both police and immigration are working, and some also in the upper western part. Immigration's role cannot be overemphasized because you have the skills to handle the foreign elements in our country, in our communities. I call on you regional commanders to be extra vigilant and step up your operational protocols in a concerted effort to first of all prevent any such threats from happening. It doesn't happen here, and we want to make sure it does not happen here. Government is committed to help provide the needed support to ensure that you work more effectively and efficiently in this direction. Our keen interest as a government now, as far as you are concerned, will be to know what your plan of action is or will be, or what will be required to execute those plans 
And I hope I can count on the controller and his able management to provide such information. Already, I want to assure you the management is doing well, working on other security agencies to make sure that our peace is maintained. But today, we want that consultation to be broadened, to include you, the regional manager. Ambrose Derry, Minister for the Interior there, joining his sister Joseph Akabli, has been speaking to him about the influx of Burkina Bays into the northern part of the country and the security situation at Chirepone. Yes, the new regions, uh, as the president has rightly said, they are being established uh, to operate just like the other 10 regions. And therefore, we have in regional commanders for immigration, regional commanders for uh, fire, regional commanders for police. It's whatever exists in the other region is being replicated. And the president is going around to ensure that those institutions are established. And so today what you are seeing is a conference of the regional, uh, all the regions, including the six regions, uh, working towards a plan. Uh, I think that what the president will be able to do is maintain the peace of this place and want to make sure that we continue to work hard to maintain the peace of Ghana. In terms of the threat of terrorism, um, we know that uh, there are others who are also coming into the country claiming that they, they are seeking asylum. Uh, what is the current situation on that? Well, the, yes, we have a situation where uh, from the neighboring country, Burkina Faso, we've got a number of people who have come, moved down south, first into the uh, Upper East region and also the Upper East regions. They appear to be people who are in need, and therefore Ghana, as you know, would play its part as a very, very useful international citizen. And so we're giving them humanitarian support, but we're also making sure that whatever we're doing, the agencies and the ministry are working together to make sure that we do not allow uh, dangerous elements to infiltrate those who are seeking assistance. And we're working together to make sure that we eliminate that threat. Is government committed to providing the needed resources for the various agencies to give up their very best like you demanded? Yes, we are. And uh, you, you can see that uh, President didn't only talk about uh, a paradigm shift of security, but provided extra budgetary allocations. And as I speak to you, you know that there may be a number of badges of vehicles that we are presented to the police, for instance. As I talked to you, there are some that are really police headquarters, and there's another badge that is at the port. But what the government is doing is extending it to cover all the other uh, uh, agencies. And that's why we are talking about now that what we met was a situation where you just have entry points, and then you sit there and say you are protecting Ghana. Now, the president is talking about we having a system that is going to cover the whole porous length of the, by, uh, the, uh, the border. And that's what we're working together to do. Before here, I, I went to talk, with, I was at the police program, CID, and therefore they're collaborating. And you know, uh, if you have people who are coming in, other groups have to come in. We want to provide humanitarian support, but we are going to be careful about giving people the right to want to be permanent here. No, that one will not go well for us. But the important thing we want to use this occasion to do is to say that it's a collective, we need information. We need information from Ghanaians. Anybody who comes into your, your community and is a stranger, whether he's Ghanaian or foreign, do let the uh, uh, agencies get to know about them. If they are foreign, we want to make sure immigration talks to them. If they are local, we want to make sure the police talks to them. And then we can have no surprises. And still, still in the northern region, I mean, we know that there have been some renewed clashes in Cherpony. We recall that a committee was set up to look into the matter. What is the current status and how are you dealing with the situation up now? The committee was set up to look at the matter, about the report. We are, imp we are implementing the report. As I speak to you, yesterday the police council met. We've agreed to establish police stations. No more just sending people there and to restore sending police stations there, not just there, but also in Alavano. One of the places that we, we go and they fight and we redraw, we want to put permanent structures there, we are there. And then the investigations are continuing. It's unfortunate that for the past two days they started burning houses, but now what we have had is a killing. The body has been sent to uh, Tamale for this and the investigations are continuing. Some people have been arrested and we are going to continue to, to, to investigate these matters. But we do not want people to create the impression that we are dealing with a situation that has never happened. We are dealing with a situation that we think must not continue to, to exist. And we're going to make sure, make sure that we work to eliminate it. But we need your support. We need information about the people who come around. 
and I can assure you that NGS will do well. Let me use the opportunity to thank you because you play your role in trying to get these things on and we want to make sure that we assure you that this government will not renege on its promise to make Ghana safe.